Oh yeah, double the fun for two big country artists today. Country singers Florida Georgia Line and Thomas Rhett shared the stage today celebrating those two songs topping the charts. But for Thomas Rhett, the party served a double purpose as songwriter for Round Here and performer of It Goes Like This. Country newcomers Florida Georgia Line are celebrating once again. Their third single, Round Here, joins the rank of their first two smash hits, Cruise and Get Your Shine On. That chorus, when it hits, uh, there's so many memorable lines all throughout the song, it just ends up being one big hook. And Round Here, I mean, was one of those songs that, you know, I'd written and uh, for me at the time, it wasn't for me. Fellow country newbie Thomas Rhett co-wrote the song. He passed on recording it for his own album, but says it ended up exactly where it was supposed to be. I was kind of a different artist then, a different different songwriter, different performer. And you know, when, when Brian and Tyler called and were like, man, we want to we cut around here and put it out as a single, I was like, that's awesome. And, you know, I was just to be a proud, I was just proud to be a part of the the, the tsunami that they have started, you know, in this business. Thomas gets to double up at this party. He's also here celebrating as an artist for his single, It Goes Like This. And it goes like, hey, girl, I'm going away. It's my third single that I put out. I knew I needed a really big hit. I knew I needed a song that was going to really connect um, with girls and, you know, in turn, their boyfriends or their husbands or whatever would love it. Thomas can't take credit for writing that one. That goes to his dad, well-known Nashville songwriter Rhett Adkins, who says he never pushed the music business on his son and intentionally chose not to write with him in the beginning of his son's career. We wanted him to be his own songwriter. Uh, we didn't want people in town to think, well, oh, of course, you know, your dad wrote this whole song. A lot of talent is packed into this one party for two songs with two different Nashville success stories. All the credit goes to God because, I mean, I mean, I get I get out there some nights and, and, and I just wonder how in the world all this has happened and this is something that doesn't happen all the time, so really going to soak it up. Red is also responsible for pinning 1994 and Ain't Ready to Quit for Jason Aldean and Parking Lot Party performed by Lee Bryce. Florida Georgia Line just announced a big show. They're going to be one of the performers at this year's New Year's Rockin' Eve.